Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're coming back, thank you so much. If you're new, hi, my name is Rocio. So today I wanted to share with you guys a quick mini Walmart and Marshalls haul. I found some really cute makeup items that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I got from Walmart and Marshalls, just keep on watching. So first, I picked up this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in matte. And I got mine in the shade Golden Beige. So I heard some really good reviews on this. Um, I've seen it for quite a while now when I go to the store. Um, and I hadn't decided to pick it up yet just because I didn't know if it was any good. But I looked it up and there were some really good reviews saying that it lasted on all day with um, very few like touch-ups or like uh, blotting of the face. Um, so I did pick this up for four dollars and some cents. It was no more than five dollars. So I'm excited to try this out just because of the great reviews that it's had. Um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted and see what I think of this foundation next I got this airspun loose face powder looks like this and I got mine in the naturally neutral shade they do have other shades um, there's one in translucent and then there's another one in I think it's honey or something like that but I thought that this would be a perfect shade for my skin tone. I've heard great reviews on this. This was another item that um, I saw that was like a drugstore must have. And I actually had such a hard time trying to find this at the store. But luckily I found it. And um, this was $5 and some change. I can't remember exactly. But when you open it up, it has this little applicator here. And then of course this is sealed but actually guys I already opened it and let me tell you guys this smells so lovely um, I thought that this was a generous size considering the price um, so I think this is gonna last me for a pretty long time I decided to give this setting powder a try next I got this elf clear brow and lash mascara in clear looks like this so this was another drugstore must-have. Um, I heard that this is really good for applying to your eyebrows, especially if you have like thicker eyebrows. I know I don't, but my eyebrows tend to like fall down, especially right here on the end. Um, so I thought that this would be a really good inexpensive try for having my eyebrows staying in place. Um, this was no more than $2.00. And I believe it was like the last one in the clear shade. So I am so excited to try this out just because of the great reviews. So moving right along, I'm going to show you guys the things that I got from Marshalls. So first, I'm going to show you guys this Japanese K Buff and Blend uh, brush. looks like this. This one was for $5.99. And it's like the, I call these like the kabuki, like flat top brushes. And I like to use these to apply my powder foundation. I know a lot of people like to use this also for like their liquid foundation. I have never gave it a try with the liquid foundation, but I, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to try it. Um, but yeah, this looks very promising. Like I've said before in my past videos, these uh, brushes from the Japanese K brand are really good. I already have like two, three different ones for like face and eyes and they all do an amazing job. So for the price and the quality of this brush, it's a really good deal. So next I got this Cara Duo by Cara Beauty eyeshadow palette. And in the back it looks like this. And I did get this for $9.99, which is a little bit more expensive for like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and those type of stores. Typically, I get my palettes for like no more than $6. 
but you know once I opened it up I fell in love and it did have a different one in a mustard colored packaging which was very similar to the shades in this palette but that one had like some more vibrant colors which I knew I wasn't going to use so I went for I played it safe and I went for more neutral so let me open it up so you guys can see how it looks inside so can we just take a moment to talk about this beautiful palette guys look at these beautiful colors such a great variety beautiful and then it does come with a very generous sized mirror you guys probably saw me there but anyways, this palette, my gosh, definitely worth the $10. I was trying to look it up um, to see how much it typically retails for. And I didn't find any luck finding this exact palette. But they did have other palettes which ranged around, I think it was like $18 or something like that. I could be wrong, but I definitely got a good deal on this palette. Um, let me do a quick swatch. So let's do a fun color. Let's go for this one right here. And I'm not even going to try to butcher the name. But it's this one right here. Alright, so look at this. Oof. Beautiful. Very creamy. I really like this. Oh my goodness. That is such a fun color. So let's do another one. Um, Let's do the one that is shimmery right here. And I'm sorry. I'm having troubles with my camera focusing. But it's this one right here. It's like a brown copper tone. Ooh, guys, look at that. Look at that beautiful shade. Definitely recommend if you guys see this at your Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, any of those stores, pick it up. Such a beautiful palette. Great variety with the glitters, the shimmers, and the mattes. Definitely can do a typical day look or a night out. Nice, vibrant eyeshadow look. Um... I like this so much for the price, such a great deal, and the shades are so creamy and pigmented. Definitely pick it up. Next and last makeup item that I bought from Marshalls were these liquid lipsticks by Physicians Formula. So these are called the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish, and these were for $3.99. This one is in the shade, exact name of this one guys, I'm sorry, the sticker was actually pulled off, but let me swatch it for you guys so you guys can take a look. I'm going to swatch it right here, ooh, that is pretty, let me do another layer there, that is beautiful guys. So I do not believe these have like a matte finishing, but... When I looked online, the swatches look so nice and it just, like it says, it's like a velvet velvet finish. So, definitely like this one. This one that I found, this one does have a shade number. This one is in Bear With Me, PF10017. I'm going to swatch this one right here. Ooh, I really like this one. This one is like perfect for like an everyday wear for me. <laughs> I really like that. These are so nice, guys, especially for the fall time. Love it. And again, those were $3.99 each. Last item that I got from Marshalls were these Dashing Diva Magic Press Long Nails. These are the press on nails, and these come with 30. And I believe, are these like the coffin shape? I'm not sure. But look at these. They're so cute and perfect for the fall time. 30 nails. That's very generous because these were only $4.99. So I typically buy the ones where you had to um, apply them with glue. But 
these are press-ons which would be the first time me trying them out so I really hope that they stay on I heard that if you apply them at night time they might last you longer just because at night you're not you know washing your hands so they have a better chance of actually sticking well onto your nail so these ones are in the vamp vixen shade and I really like this glitter one here on the end. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, guys, that's all I got from Walmart and Marshalls. Just a short haul, but these items were so cute that I really want to share with you guys. So please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe down below so you guys can keep up with more content that I upload. Yes, guys, that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.